Hey, it's day 18. It's the 6th of May. I, uh, I'm gonna do it a little bit different today because I didn't watch the previous video that I did for you guys yesterday where I talked about quitting my job and moving out and all that. Um, so I'm just, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of doing this video now without like actually analyzing the previous one that I did. And I think the reasoning for me not watching it, it's because I think I want to change it a little bit. So I think instead of 10 minute videos, I'm going to do five minute because I think it's not that I really actually struggle to talk for 10 minutes. I mean, sometimes I do, sometimes I talk way longer, but it's more that I'm, I'm sitting and I'm kind of grasping after what to say or what to talk about. So I think, I guess I want to just mildly jot it down kind of what I want to talk about. And uh, yeah, in today's video, I don't really have anything specific I want to talk about. Well, that's actually not really true, but I didn't really prepare anything. The only thing that I prepared is kind of like, I thought a little bit, I just played a video game and um, I'm kind of split. And I know I say and use this like term a lot. I'm kind of split in my mind because in a sense, I really enjoy this game that I'm playing. But in a sense, I also really hate it. So it's a game I spend almost 2000 hours playing it now. I spend a lot of time playing it and uh, it can be really fun. But I think more often than not, it makes me feel bad actually. And I was going to say bad about myself, but it's not necessarily bad about myself. It just makes me angry and annoyed. And it's way more often that I'm left with this feeling than that I have fun or like a positive feeling playing this video game. So there's many aspects to it because I want to keep playing the game for a few reasons. It's a game I've been playing for like six, seven years. I invested a lot of time into it. I invested a lot of money into it. And in a way it just kind of feels for nothing if I just stop and I leave it, you know, and I don't come back to it. But I guess in a way, everything is like that in life you invest some sort of resource into it, whether it might be time or money, but in a way, aren't they kind of like connected in like at least the kind of society and uh, everyday life most of us have? Because how do we get money? We get money by doing some sort of job which takes some amount of our everyday hours and we get paid for that work that we're putting in for those hours and that time spent doing that piece of job. So in a, in a way, I'm not saying money and time is the same. I'm not saying it's like the same, but in a way, if you look at it from that context, it is, right? So I guess I should also think about then, okay, well, I also played other video games where I invested maybe way less money, but I invested way more time that I'll never get back. And all this time I spent playing these games. Yeah, I had a lot of fun but it doesn't necessarily really lead to anything, you know? Like, yeah, I, I know a lot about World of Warcraft and I know like 
how it was to play WoW in like vanilla, TBC, Wrath, Kata, you know, those were the expansions and times I played the most. I don't know everything about the game, of course, but I know like a lot about those full time periods of WoW. And yeah, I guess that's cool and it's some fun memories to think back about. But why can't I do that as well with the new game that I'm playing? I think I'm struggling. And there's many things about it. It's like, uh, I really like like the artwork and the skins. I know it sounds stupid. And I also like the core, like, gameplay of the game itself, right? But I think there's just so many aspects of the game that's out of your control. Like, so it's a game where, as I said, a person like me that has spent close to two, sorry, I spent close to 2000 hours playing this game and it's a 1v4 game, right? So obviously the one person has some advantages over the four people. And there's also some advantages to being one of the four, right? But I think generally you have to be really good playing like one of the four compared to the one person because I see time and time again I always play as one of the four. Let's just call them survivors because that's what they're called in the game. And the one person is the killer. It's a survival horror game. I primarily play as survivor. I have 1800 something hours. And as I said over and over again, I go against these people that played the game for a few hundred hours and they can totally annihilate me and a group of other people and it's kind of like it kind of feels like why do I have so much time invested in this and I'm not saying okay it kind of sounds like I'm saying that I'm not having fun because I'm not winning and that's not true because there's many games I've played where I didn't win it's kind of hard to define win in this game but I didn't win and still I had a great amount of fun, right? But I think this game, how it's made and how it's built, there's a lot of different infuriating like mechanics to the games that's out of your control or it's like put in someone else's hands because that's just how the game is made that can really be like triggering and really infuriating. So I, I just don't know if it's a good idea to invest a lot of your time into something where you feel like your mood or happiness or well-being, I suppose, in a sense, it's, it's based into complete random people. Because unless you play pre-made with three friends, you will get three other random survivors and the killer that you play against, of course, is also a random. So for the next five to 30 minutes, depending on how the match is and how the people choose to play it, your time and your fun is put into four strangers you've never met before you never talked to and there's no way of communication in this game while you're playing the game there's no chat while you're playing there's no voice there's only a before you start the game and after the game chat and i think that kind of adds to it and i know that like adding text or voice necessarily wouldn't choose or wouldn't fix a lot of things but like they made this game for a mobile and on mobile you have like you can't type but you can like communicate with the people like oh i'm going for the save or no don't save me or something you have these quick like pre-written sentences that you can send to your teammates right 
And just that, I think, is fine because then you can't choose yourself how you want to format the, the thing you're trying to communicate, right? And I think that helps a lot because it limits your way to be toxic. And it's a very toxic game. And it's bringing me down a lot. I can, I can play the game alone and not be affected as much. But like if I'm recording or let's say streaming the game to Twitch and I know people are like watching me play the game or if I'm playing with my girlfriend and I know that she's like watching kind of my performance of the game or the game, you know, um, it's like a whole other thing for me. And I don't know. Well, I kind of know why. And it's because I guess it's because that I I care what others think about me. So I'm thinking about like what they'll think. So I tell myself that they're judging like my performance in the game, I guess. And that's why it tilts me a lot and affects my mood because I'm like, oh shit, you know, uh, I already got downed or I already got killed or I played so poorly here, you know? And I think it's because I take it upon myself that, oh, I'm doing poorly. So it's affecting people that I care about in a sense, if that makes sense. But if I'm playing alone with complete strangers and I'm not talking to anyone and I'm not being like, not being watched, then I don't really care because it's like, I don't feel like I have an expectation to do good. But if I'm playing with someone or if I'm streaming and I feel like I have some sort of standard to live up to because Otherwise, why would people watch me, right? That's probably what I tell myself in my head. I feel pressured to do better. And the more I feel pressured, the worse I will perform, obviously, and the more it's gonna affect my mood and that's gonna show on my stream. And that's no good. So yeah, that's kind of the thoughts I'm, I'm dealing with lately, honestly. Also, I didn't really get further with like packing or selling anything, but also it's only been one more day since I sold something, as I said, it's Monday. And I sold that first thing yesterday on Marketplace. Another thing that I wanted to say is I, I saw a lot of people that are kind of doing the same thing that I'm doing. And it's great to see. Um, yeah, it's, it's really great to see, I think. And uh, it's it's funny now that I'm I'm doing these kind of videos or whatever. I, sorry, I'm doing this a lot. I'm doing these videos or vlogs or whatever where you're just kind of talking to the camera about whatever. I'm getting suggested these kind of YouTube videos way more than like I've never seen so many videos. And it's not like only new videos. It's also like older videos. So some, somehow it knows that that's kind of what I'm doing or what I'm interested in, I suppose. It makes sense because I started watching a lot of more vloggers before I started doing this myself. So I guess that's, that's why and not because of the kind of videos I'm making, but because of the kind of content I watched. But in a way, it's kind of, it's kind of boring me honestly, because I watch so many different YouTubers now. So it's like, I can't really keep track of who I watched and who I didn't watch. And it's not always that I sub to them if I just watched one video. Um, and also I feel like there's a lot of people that make, like, it seems like there's a lot of people, they, they have a very basic title and then they don't really do anything fancy for the thumbnail. And then they just kind of talk for like 15, 20 minutes or something. And I kind of just get like, it's probably also because I'm choosing to watch their videos at like a time where I'm like busy. If I'm like on my way home or I'm walking or something, 
I'll have my phone like watching something a lot of the times and I can't really focus on it. So it kind of feels wasted, you know, in a sense. But I don't know if you if you get that. If if you've tried watching something while you're kind of you can't pay attention to it fully. And then it kind of feels ruined in a way because you did pick up on some of the things. So it in in a way it seems like you already watched it, but you don't really remember it. But I don't know, it's weird. I can't really explain it. I'm still trying to work on that video as I talked about in the last one where I talk more in depth about why I quit my job and like why I'm moving. Honestly, there's not like a lot of reasoning to it, as I said, but I just want to get more in depth about everything, I suppose, because I think some people could be interested about it if they're like in a similar situation where they're thinking about it. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.